so today I am tying a fly with arctic wind. And the hook I'm using today is a Daiichi 2220 and it's size 4. I need this a little deeper. So I'm going to add quite a bit of wraps here. For thread, I'm going to use Danville's 210 flat wax. And I'm getting this uh, hot white arctic wind. Separate the fibers. And these are long enough that are great for small streamers like this. Let's put a little uh, head cement on there just to make sure nothing spins. And uh, you want to measure out fibers to about the length of the hook shank for the tail. We're tying it right in the center, pretty much of the clump. And we're going to pull, pull this up, pull back the fibers a bit, and then I am going to put in some of this saltwater sized flashaboo. Pull this forward, okay, and we're going to just wrap that down on top of the hook. And then we want to pull back some of the fibers. Wrap up a little more. Pull back a few more of the fibers. Lay those down. Wrap up a little more, and then pull back the rest. Now we can come through with our flash of boo. Another thick clump of this hot white arctic wind. Now we can clip this, we don't need it. Now I've got this silver gray arctic wind. We're going to tie this in, not quite in the center of the clump. We want these uh, to be a little larger, a little longer. Then we can cut off the waist. I'm going to rotate the fly upside down and pull out a little bit of this red arctic wind. We don't need this very long. What we're going to do is we can pull out the extra long fibers. We don't need all that, so we're going to trim off that off square.
I've got a very small amount of this black Arctic wind. We don't want a lot of it. We just want it to accent the top. Tie that in right on top of the gray. We're going to attach on some eyes, so you want to get, you want to fully cover that head. So I think we're going to go with uh, size eyes, and those should, should fully cover. Get them prepared and ready, stick them on your hand. And if you got a kid with you, you can do the talking hand. I like using Fletch Tight, or gel type super glue can also work. Put a little dot. Right towards the back, a little bit into the fiber. And then to make sure this tracks properly, you want to make sure that these eyes are aligned properly. And you want that to dry. And I'm going to use Solara's Thin Hard Formula, and we're going to form a little bit of a head. So you can see you've got a little space in between right there between the eyes and we're just going to put a little right in there and then zap it with your light. And this stuff is great, it cures very quick. And let's do that on the bottom as well. Now for the final step, I really like using this stuff. This is Bone Dry also by Solarez. And this cures really quickly, but also really hard. And it also does not get tacky. It's such a nice finish. It, it makes it like super, almost uh, glossy.